So, I've been thinking about this better way to design the spacecraft, and here are some uh, sketches of what I've been looking into. Wow, this is a pretty significant change from the way the project office is doing things. I don't think they have any requirements to do this kind of approach or to add these new features. Plus, we've never done anything like this before. I should also remind you that as a member of this organization, we are really only supposed to be working on subsystems. This is not something you or this organization is responsible for. You are a contractor and not a civil servant. You should check with your manager, contractor manager, to make sure he's comfortable with you doing this kind of thing. Well, yes I know, and I've considered that, but I think this is really important. I see. You know, you'll be basically telling them that their current approach is flawed. With their budget cuts and everything else going on right now, I don't really think this is a good idea. And I suspect your contractor supervisor will be very unhappy, as this will seem as a threat to the relationship with the project office. Hmm. Well, I hadn't really considered that. Well, I understand, but it really isn't our call, so we'll have to check with the branch chief to make sure he's okay with it first, and I really insist that I go with you. You know, your engineer has been causing quite a stir lately with all her new ideas. Are you supporting her in these efforts? I'm not really happy supporting her with this new idea. She's not really following the party line within our organization, and this kind of performance outside of the organization really troubles me. Yeah. Coming in. How's it going? Good. I hear you have some new ideas for the spacecraft design, rather. Oh yes, and I'm really appreciative that you're giving me your time to go over this new great idea I have, and I just wanted to show you some sketches I've been working on. Uh -huh. A little concerned about how this fits into the overall organization. Uh, you know we're only supposed to be doing subsystems, right? Yes, but um, I don't really think anybody's looked at this kind of idea yet. Do you have any background in spacecraft design, Heather? Well, I am an engineer, but no, not specifically in that, And but I am very concerned about the viability of the approach. I think they have looked into it already, and we need to trust what the project office has been saying and be supportive in our efforts. Um, there are no requirements for this type of approach, and we've really never done anything like this before. I'm a little concerned about the phone calls I've been getting from the project office about you know, asking around a lot of questions. I'm sure you're aware and your intentions are good, but it's my responsibility to look out for the branch and make sure that the, the projects are within line with uh, those that give us our support at the project office and that we are doing the work that we have been asked to do. Can I at least talk to management and the project lead about it first? We, we just really can't afford it at this time. Um, of course, we're not going to prevent you from going and, and trying to promote your idea, but I would recommend that you take your supervisor or I with you when you go and talk to the project office. Okay. Robert. Heather has this new idea of how to do our spacecraft, and she wants to tell you all about it. I want you to understand that we don't have the time, we don't have the budget to really look into this. We've done a lot of trades in the past, and we think we have the right, we've identified the right way to go. What well, we're doing worked for us in Apollo, it worked for us in shuttle, worked in station, and it's going to work here. We don't want to take the risk of trying any new directions. I understand. Come in. Yes, Heather. Hi, Robert. Nice to see you again. Thanks for your time. Um, you see, uh, I've talked to Nadia about this new idea I have, and well, here's a sketch for you to look over. I'm looking at some of the some of the features we've got out, laid out here, and we've we've kind of looked at this before. We don't have any requirements for this type of approach in the program, and quite honestly, we've never done things this way before. But we did a lot of work in the limited time we had available, and we we think we have a pretty comprehensive study of the different options. Even if we don't have the actual data in the format that you were trying to find, we don't think this idea is technically sound. Well, okay, but the present way we're doing this is actually flawed. I've looked at that, and honestly, it's way too expensive. A matter of fact, our current approach is just really bad engineering. You know, that might be, but it doesn't matter. I can't afford to care about that. 
My job is to make sure that the project follows this plan from start to finish. And at this point in the plan, this is where we need to be, and it's where we are. Look, take a look at the NASA project plan. According to the official systems engineering plan, at this stage of the project, I'm not responsible for showing an optimal solution. I just have to show that it's technically feasible, that it meets the requirements, and look, that's what we've got. We're on spec exactly where the project wants us to be right now. All right, well, if that's the way it has to be, I guess thanks for your time. Are you even supporting her on this project? You know that's not what we do here. And besides, is it even a good idea? Do you have any data on this? We're not really supporting her. It's kind of something she's done on her own. I went ahead and called the project office, and they, they assured me that they've looked at the issue and that it's not a concern, that we should just let it alone. Well, in that case, it's time for you to, to start getting your people in line. We just can't have multiple people speaking out of turn in this kind of an organization. It's just not going to work. I'll talk to her about it. I'll straighten her out and make sure we get it taken care of. Oh, I'm a speaker now. Hi, guys. How's it going? I'm glad uh, we can meet today. Heather, right? Yes. Hi. Nice Good. to see you again. Uh, thank you for uh, coming in and talking to us about your idea. You know, we really do like this kind of out-of-the-box thinking, but I do hope that you understand that there just aren't any requirements for this kind of process. I mean, this just isn't something we've done before. Well, but can you just look at this for a minute? I want you to see how this solves so many of our problems. Well, everybody else tells me that we really don't have any data to support this one way or the other. All I'm trying to do is just see some innovation in this project and really try and push us to the next level. Heather. I was in the military for over 15 years, and I can tell you flat out, this is just not how you get things done. But this is not a military agency. This is a civilian agency. I understand that, but you still have to work together with the other people on your team to make sure that you speak with one coherent voice. It's very important that we be seen as internally consistent and having the utmost respect for the chain of command. So I've already spoken with your contract management and your supervisors, and we all agree that in the future, before you go out with these uh, great ideas that you have, you have to clear them with your immediate management first. Okay, I understand, but I did do that. How can I possibly contribute and be innovative if I have to ask for approval for everything I want to say? We're not talking about that here. We don't want to repress dissenting views or innovation like this. That's not how we operate. We're just trying to make sure that our division speaks with one voice. That means I can't give you a charge number to work on this. Heather, you're a smart girl. Use a little bit of discretion. Everybody tells me that you're a very talented and valued member of our organization. We all appreciate what you're trying to do here. We just don't think that this is in the scope of what you're supposed to be doing. So I hope we've reached some kind of an understanding. I have this great new idea you see and I think it's actually going to launch uh, the Google Space Project in the right direction and I'm pretty sure it's going to save us money and you know I think the public's going to be really excited. Yeah I heard you've been going around talking to all sorts of different organizations about this. Oh well I'm, I'm sorry about that. And why on earth would I object to that? In my mind my responsibilities work for you and you know what we could probably even sell this idea to NASA. And also, if you need any help with computers, I can get you that too. I mean, I don't even care if it's a Mac or a PC. You can go with me to talk to management. Now, why on earth would I do that? You don't need me. You can go by yourself. I trust you. Mm -hmm.